Hey there, are you frustrated by board members that won't help with fundraising? If so, you're not alone and you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Amy Eisenstein, and today we're gonna to talk about five ways to engage your board members in fundraising. And the reason that I think that this topic is so important is because any campaign that I've ever worked on, a capital campaign or an annual fund campaign, when the board members were involved and engaged, the organization raised significantly more money than they would have had the board members not been engaged. So we want that for your organization too. So let's go ahead and get right into the five ways to engage your board members in fundraising. Now the number one way that I see most effective is to prioritize fundraising at every single board meeting. So that means carving out 15 or maybe even 20 minutes of every single board meeting and having a meaningful fundraising discussion. And I'm not talking about reading the fundraising report. That can be sent in advance, but really having a topic to engage your board members around fundraising. And I provide some ideas below in the text of this post. Now, sometimes I get to an organization and I'll see that fundraising is last on the board meeting agenda. Actually, I see that pretty frequently. And that tells me and your board members where fundraising is in terms of priority of the organization. It's last. So move fundraising up on your board meeting agenda and dedicate 20 minutes to having that meaningful fundraising discussion. And a lot of development directors say, oh, the organization will never give me 20 minutes. Well, that's another indicator that fundraising just isn't that important at your organization. So it's time to change the culture and make it a priority. Now, the number two way that we're gonna talk about in terms of get, engaging your board members in fundraising is to provide orientation and make sure that you're setting expectations about fundraising right at the onset when board members join your organization for the first time. And there's a few ideas below in the text, but what I can say is that you want to make sure that they really understand what you're providing and what you're doing at the organization, give them a tour, introduce them to a client, make sure that they meet some staff members, and even pair them up with an experienced board member, a board member mentor, if you will, where they can ask their questions. Um, if you expect them to give money and to help with fundraising, that needs to be laid out right up front when they join the organization. Number three is to plan an annual board retreat. So if you don't have a board retreat on your calendar yet for the next 12 months, go ahead and add one. And what a board retreat does, it's not just an opportunity for planning, although it's an important opportunity for strategic planning, it's also an opportunity for team building and of course fundraising training. Learning all of the best practices, uh, tools and techniques, even fundraising 101, if that's what's appropriate at your organization. So a board retreat is not just a longer board meeting, it really has a totally different agenda. Number four is to meet with each board member individually. So you may see your board members frequently at board meetings and committee meetings, but how often do you sit down with each board member and have an important, meaningful discussion? You should ask questions like, how's their experience as a board member at your organization? Uh, what, what do they love most about serving and what frustrations do they have? And how would they like to help and engage with fundraising. That's a conversation that should happen one-on-one, -on -one, not in a group setting. And the fifth and final way to engage your board members in fundraising is to keep all of your requests short and simple. So whatever fundraising tasks you're asking of board members, make sure that you remember that they are busy people with lots of things going on in their lives. And fundraising doesn't come naturally to most people. So we want to ask them to commit to fundraising for 15 minutes a month for your organization. And whatever we're asking them should be really concrete and spelled out for them. So if we want them to add personal notes to appeal letters, we're going to give them scripts and bullets. If we want them to make thank you calls or phone calls of any kind, we're also going to give them scripts and bullets. 
We're going to let them know what to do differently if they get a voicemail versus a live person on the phone. Um, if we want them to send an email, also we're going to be very specific and concrete so that they can be successful. Uh, so those are the five ways to engage your board members in fundraising all year long. I hope you'll join the conversation in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.